In the southeast region of British Columbia, set between the Selkirk and the Rocky Mountains, lies a pristine wilderness. Home to some of the best mountain biking on the planet, the Kootenai Rocky region is the perfect place for an extended road trip. You know, it's core mountain town feel. Super dedicated crew of trail builders and riders keeping the scene really strong out there. Beautiful vistas you end up at. It's a really cool experience to ride there. Nestled high in the Monashi Mountains, the quaint old mining community of Roslyn has worked hard at reinventing itself as an outdoor playground. In the winter it's all about skiing with Red Mountain like peering down on the town and then in the summer uh, it just turns into a mountain bike town. It, it definitely goes in line with kind of that new school style of building, the trails that, that really encourage people of all levels to get out and ride their bikes. You know, that's really important for the sport. Alpine single track is always in high demand, and the crown jewel of Roslyn is the Seven Summits Trail. It's an official Imba Epic and has been named Trail of the Year by Bike Magazine. It's an adventure, it's a whole day trip. You know, spectacular 360 views all the way around. If you're gonna touch into Roslyn, hit the Seven Summits, hit the Monacola Trail, and then everything beyond that is just gravy. A short distance north from Roslyn, brings you to the heart of the Selkirk Mountains and the idyllic town of Nelson set on the shores of Kootenai Lake. A small city with big personality, Nelson is an eclectic mix of artists, hipsters, miners, loggers, and outdoor enthusiasts. There's so much potential there. I mean, the, the mountains are so high. You know, to be a mountain biker there, you gotta be able to handle your, your stuff. You know, the trails are steep, they're technical. Beautiful combination of the drier dirt and terrain that we find more inland and that really rich soil and, and lush forest that you'll see on the coast. It's kind of like an outdoorsy guy's dream and there's basically any type of riding you want to do. There's a trail that exists up there called Power Slave. It's the Bridge Hotter Riding Macintosh and it's phenomenal. It's just got this cool vibe to it, like super flowy, fast, some cool built features. It's one of those trails you'd want to ride a couple times in a day. You know, wintertime is all about skiing and hiking. Summertime is all about mountain biking in the lake. You can't beat it. It's, it's good life. Hidden deep in the Rocky Mountains, in the middle of the Elk River Valley sits the ultimate mountain town. Fernie has a timeless charm, and wandering through the historic downtown, one can easily get lost in the beauty of the surrounding mountains. Every slope you could see has a mountain bike trail on it. Definitely doing some big loops going up to get to the trailheads, and then you got a pretty sustained downhill. The Columbia River Valley has a wealth of riding opportunities, with Kimberly, Invermere, and Radium all having great mountain biking. Situated on the doorstep of five national parks, Golden has some of the most scenic trails in the valley. It's a town that's been working really hard to build up the variety of their riding. On the, on the flanks of, uh, of the Rockies, on the mountains, boom, wicked trails. Yeah, I didn't expect gold to have the buff, flowy single track that they had. And the way we just got these sneaky little peekaboo views and the mountains in the background, it was pretty spectacular. After long days of riding, take the time to appreciate a rejuvenating soak in one of the region's many natural hot springs.
set alongside the Columbia River, Revelstoke is steeped with railway history and is a welcome stopping point on the Trans-Canada Highway. When you come to Revelstoke, like, it's mostly the high alpine rides, something like slow down, being low elevation, and being a type of trail that all levels and all rider abilities can ride. It's multi-use. For me, one of the most amazing experiences is getting into the Alpine. It's something you have to do every year. To have a trail like Frisbee Ridge that anybody can access and have that experience, it's, a, it's an amazing opportunity. It seems the more time you spend in the Kootenai Rockies, the more the cares of the outside world seem to fade away. Ride, rinse, repeat becomes the new mantra. And the one thing you can be sure of, the air is fresher, the mountains a bit bigger, and the trails are just a little bit sweeter than they are at home.